Hi, it's Fong from Little Random Happiness. Today I want to review Made In, a very cool online shop which I recently discovered and I will also be hosting my first YouTube giveaway at the end of the video so please keep on watching, I'm so excited about this one. It's no secret that Japan is one of my favorite places in the whole world. I love it there. Beautiful sceneries with temples and deers wandering freely, delicious food, amazing shopping, and a very, very dangerous place if you love cute things. They also have the best souvenirs to bring back home. I'm sure a lot of you know about those special flavored Kit Kats. And have you ever tried a Tokyo banana? They are delicious. And now, I don't have to wait until I actually go to Japan to be able to buy them. Made In is a special online shop that features unique, well-crafted products from mostly small local businesses. A new business is featured every few days, and I look forward to learning about the shop and the products they offer. So I ordered a bunch of things from the website, and I can't wait to show you guys. I just want to let you know that shipping to most places internationally is free, so that's so great. Uh, shipping to the US takes 5 to 7 business days. I got mine within 4 days, so it's fantastic. Everything came neatly packaged in this box, which has a cute Tokyo skyline, so cute. And I love ordering online because when the package comes, it always feels like Christmas, and I love it. So there's a new Kit Kat store in Tokyo called Kit Kat Chocolatory, which offers very gourmet flavors. And I picked the strawberry maple one since I've never tried any strawberry Kit Kat before. And this is what it looks like. And there's also another bag in there, which I can use to put a few in there to give as gifts. And that's what I really love about Japan. Everything is always packaged carefully and beautifully and ready to be gifted, even if it's just for yourself. I love that attention to detail. So there are five of these boxes and inside are four, I believe. Let's see. There are four in there. Here they go. This is so cute. Okay, let's try one. To me, it tastes like a gourmet pocky. You can taste the maple flavor, and it's good. Really fun, fun flavor, and you definitely can't get this in the States, so that's really cool. James loved coffee, so I bought him a bag of coffee beans from, uh, what's the name, Omotisando Coffee? It's supposed to be one of the best coffee places in Tokyo right now, and the special blend um, of beans is roasted by one of, the, one of Japan's top coffee roaster, as I'm told online. And here again is the cute packaging, very simple, very clean. Um, it smells really nice. And he tried it, he loved it, said that it's definitely one of the best cups he's had. So if there are coffee lovers on your list, this is definitely a good one. Next up is this bag of, I think it's called Rakugo. It's Wagashi from a place called Wagashi Asobi. And it's really cute, you can see it. Um, it's a confection made with rice flours and powdered sugar and it's usually served with tea. There are six flavors. Uh, I think there are strawberry, rosemary, hibiscus, matcha, chamomile, and yuzu. So let's try one. This one looks like maybe hibiscus. I don't know. I go for the pink one first. <laughs> So each flavor, there are six flavors, and each has three, sorry, four of these in there. It's sweet. It's sweeter than I expected, I guess. Um, but it's made from powdered sugar, so I don't know what I was thinking. But it would definitely be good with a cup of tea. It just melts in your mouth. It's really good. They're so pretty, and it makes such a great presentation if you have. A few guests coming over, you can put it on a plate and offer them some wagashi from Japan. Really cool. 
I just tried the rosemary one and it's less sweet and it's so good. The rosemary is so nice and fragrant. Mm. Can't wait to try the rest of the flavors. Okay, next up is something I bought from a specialty tea shop called Ohashi. I love tea, but honestly, the packaging got me on this one. I really didn't care what was in there. The box was just so pretty. Here you go. And how pretty is that? There's a little button. And inside is a bag of tea and a bag of chocolates. And let's try some. like this. They're pink, which I already said I love. And let's try one. They're supposed to be a tea flavored chocolate. Um, I forgot which one I bought though. I went for the box because it was pink. <laughs> so. Mm. Yum. It's like a roasted tea flavor. Chocolate's so good. Wow, that's really good. I really like that. That was really good. Um, where's the tea bag? Mm. It smells really nice. I really don't remember what I picked. Oh, it's Yuzu Pochicha. It smells really, really nice. I can't wait to try that paired with the chocolate. It must be really, really good. So this is perfect for um, a tea lover. I really want to buy the other ones now because it's so yummy. Inside the bag itself, there's also another bag because if you wanted to give this as a gift, you already have a gift bag you can use and it fits perfectly in there. So cute. Okay, so lastly I bought a few Tokyo banana items. I mean, how can anyone resist all this cuteness in one package? So they're fluffy sponge cake um, that's filled with custard cream and when we were in Japan two years ago I bought the original flavor ones and the strawberry ones and I was kicking myself because I didn't buy more. They were so good and it's been two years. Um, so I'm so excited to try these new flavors that I haven't tried the last time. Uh, this one is, it has a caramel uh, banana filling, I think. And then I also bought this one, which is a banana cream filling, uh, chocolate banana cream filling, and it has these adorable leopard print on them. And then the logo always have like a bow, and I love bows. It's so cute. It's just too much cuteness. So, uh, what else? And I bought these cookies. And they're also leopard print um, chocolate banana filling, I believe. So let's try some of them. Uh, their shelf life, I think, is about a week. Um, so I've already like give them, given them away to my brother and my sister, and they love them. I haven't tried them out yet, but there are eight in the package. It's usually just all one flavor, but since I've given them away, I condensed them in one box. But how cute are they? They're so adorable. And I am interested in trying this one first. So, there's the package. It's kind of like a Twinkie, but that's not a fair comparison at all. <laughs> it's so good. Um, so how cute is that? Packaging is adorable. Again, the little bow, and let me open it. And where else can you get a tiny leopard printed sponge cake? So cute. Look at that. And it's super soft, it's so fresh. so good. There's the filling there. I'm always wary of things that are banana flavored because 
they tend to have that artificial banana taste, but not this. It's like a very subtle banana taste. The chocolate is like a chocolate pudding. It's so good, and it's just the right amount of sweetness. How how cool is it? I love the pattern. I can't get over it, and it tastes good. It's just a perfect little dessert. Again, cute little cookie. So cute. Oh. This is white chocolate banana filling. I can't say anything more than it's a really good cookie and it tastes so fresh. The shelf life for this um, cookie lasts longer. I think it's like 45 days, whereas the uh, sponge cakes are just, I think, 10 days or something like that. What else do I need to talk about? Oh, I just want to eat this cookie and I can't think about anything else. Um, let's see. So I guess I could sum up my experience shopping with Made In. Every time I have a question, I email them and I get a response really quickly and they're very nice. They really just want you to be happy with whatever you're ordering. Customer service is great. Um, each, of this, each of the items range from $20 to $30. There are more expensive things, of course. It might seem expensive and for me it was definitely a splurge because I ordered so many items, but I do share them with my family. so. That's always good. I think it's so worth it. You don't have to buy a ticket and go to Japan to actually get these things. Uh, you don't have to beg a friend who's going to Japan to bring some back for you. And you know, for what you get, whenever you place an order, someone from Maiden actually has to go out, purchase it for you to ensure that it's fresh, and then mail it to you quickly. And I mean, mine arrived in four days and there's just no better service than that. I really, really love the company. And this is not sponsored at all. I just, I was scrolling on Facebook one day and it just popped up in my feed and I was like, what is this thing? Let me check it out. And it's just the coolest online boutique shop that I've seen and I really want to support a new startup like that. And I hope that you would check their stuff out too. So that is that and now I guess I could talk about my first giveaway on YouTube, which is so exciting. So for my first giveaway, I will give away a Tokyo banana item because I love it so much. And the winner can just pick whichever one they like on the website. They're all good, so whatever you pick would be great. And here is how to enter this giveaway. To enter, please subscribe to my channel, like my page on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram. Also, comment below as to which Tokyo banana box you would pick if you win. This giveaway is open worldwide. I hope you like this video and good luck on the giveaway. I hope to do a lot more giveaways in the future whenever I see something cool, so please subscribe to see more. See you next time. Bye!